great game, great environment. It wasn't a great game, but the environment was great. Auburn was ready to go. We weren't, you know, it's for first place. They came out and played like it was for first place. We played like still be in first place if we won, which is a little disappointing because we could have separated ourselves a little bit, and we didn't. So now I'm guessing I looked at the scores. I'm guessing we're in a four-way tie in the lost column in first place. So, you know, we've got some work to do in these last eight games. You know, they, they were better than us. They, they played harder. You know, they out-rebounded us. They were up on the glass most of the night. They took advantage of our smaller lineup inside. They turned us over. We didn't turn them over. A lot of the effort – Stats that you look at, rebounds, turnovers, they, they were better than us. So I uh we got we gotta go back, we gotta play hard. You know, they 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 were definitely a better team, more prepared. They they were ready to go tonight. Brian Hensley. Coach, when we were at Coleman, you kind of said if your team came out like this on the road, they wouldn't win. Was it a different scenario that you envisioned with the team, how they played at Coleman, or is this kind of a different scenario? Uh, I mean, we we didn't play very well at the beginning of that game, we were better on offense this game, but our defense, like, you know, it's like we're content with just trading baskets. We 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 had no problem scoring at the beginning of the game, but, you know, I think about after the first two media timeouts, I think it was on pace to be about 110 or 120 to 90 or 100 or whatever, you know, like we're going to have a shootout. Like, so it's great that our offense can be clicking, and, and then, then it wasn't. So then when, you know, your defense isn't there and your offense goes away, then they open up a big lead, which is what happened. And then, you know, I give them a lot of credit. They were down 14 at the half at our place. They came out in the second half, played really hard, and got back in the thing. We were down 14. We didn't come out and do much damage. I think maybe we cut it to 11 at one point, I think. In fact, I don't know how close it got, but it didn't get that close. They they did a great job of keeping their foot on the gas and, and making sure we didn't get back in the game. Nick Alvarez. Inside, I mean, they get had a pretty big point disparity at the end of the first half. Um, is that an effort issue for you guys, or is there kind of something thematically they get back? I mean, look, we, we, you know, we didn't want to double because I, I saw other teams that doubled and gave up a bunch of threes to them. And I insight, as bad as we lost, maybe we should have doubled more and, you know, and then tried to rotate around and try to take the three away. You know, they only hit five threes a night. Problem is they went to the free throw line 50 times and shot 40 out of 50 free throws. And they're, you know, they're bigs, nine for 10, nine for 11 between their starting four and five and Williams and Broom. And they're both good. They're they're two of the better. I mean, they may have the best front court. When you look at a four and a five in the league. And we, we didn't do a very good job of it, you know. And part of it's we started small and they punished us and we, we – we got to have a better answer for it if we're going to continue to start small like that. In the middle. Yeah, Coach, we saw you guys have a season high, 32 fouls tonight, uh, and it's going to have been a foul trouble all season. So what can you guys do uh, going forward to bring that amount of fouls? we got to be more disciplined. Some of them are just bad fouls. we got to stay in front of the ball better. You know, guys get beat, and they're fouling. If they get beat, we got to do a better job in the post. I saw our guys just start following scouting report stuff. Like we tell you what the guy's going to do, and they do exactly what we tell you they're going to do, and we don't do a very good job guarding it. So I mean, there's multiple reasons we, you know, some of it's effort. I mean, team that plays harder sometimes fouls less because they, they they're in position and they're they're where they're supposed to be. And when you're a step late and you're not where you're supposed to be, you end up fouling. Like. Coach, you talked about the, the size mismatch and how they kind of took advantage uh, of that. Was that something you anticipated them being able to do? And did you ever think about going with a bigger lineup to combat that with the stop box? Yeah, I mean, we did go with bigger lineups. We we played Jaron at the four with Grant at the five. We played Grant at the four with Pringle at the five. We played Mo Diabate, Jaron, and a five together at times. I mean, we we were probably better on Williams when we did that, but even some of our Big guys got posted and scored on. So, you know, I, I like maybe going small got him going, and then he just had his confidence going. You know, I, you know, for Williams to score 26 and only hit one three, you know, he did a lot of damage at the free throw line and in the paint. So, yeah, I, 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 we didn't really debate starting bigger, but we definitely went bigger at times in the game. And it, 
didn't do much. Nick Kelly. Yeah, Nate, as far as I mean, talk about how good those guys are in the front court. I mean, is that something where it's just a matter of learning from it, or is there legitimate concern about how you guys can handle guys inside uh, long term? I mean, we've, we've had issues with front court guys all year, to be honest with you. I mean, we, you know, we had that stretch of three games with Edie and Balo and Colt Printer, and we didn't do a very good job on for sure Edie and Balo. You know, we fouled too much. We're, we're not in position. We let it get in too easy. We get ducked in too easy. Thought Grant did a, a really good job on Colu Smith. That's probably the one game that I, I can remember off the top of my head that we played a legitimate post-up big that if we've done a decent job on. Other than that, we haven't, you know, we, we tried to double at times and different doubles. We give up threes, but it's it's an issue. We, we got to be better inside. Ariel. Well, yeah, I mean, he shot it well both games against them. So, you know, he had the one drive tonight that he scored off of. We, he got to be able to get downhill when they press up into him a little bit more. You know, and again, like he's small at the four. We tried to go with the four guards. Need him to do a little bit better job defensively. You know, like as as well as he shot it from three, he, you know, his plus minus wasn't very high tonight. Like he, you know, he was the worst on our team, even though he's typically been one of our better defenders. But we we've been putting him on guard, so we're gonna have to figure out whether you know if teams have post up bigs like Williams. Can can he? Is it smart for us to leave starting lineup the way it is and leave him on him? I, it didn't it didn't work tonight, but. Offensively, he's he's getting better and better. He's shooting it well. He's been better in pick and rolls. He can get downhill, but probably need to get him downhill a little bit more when he's getting pressed up into like like they were. Two more, Michael. With the blue collar point tonight, they beat us by twenty five. I, um, I got it. We had it started at ninety six and a half to seventy one and a half. We we almost had one twenty. I think we had one eighteen against Mississippi State. So we. At almost half of what we had last game, so we we didn't play hard enough. We had multiple guys that played enough minutes that had, you know, one one and a half, two. So it's not three, like you know, guys that played thirty minutes had three blue collar points. We we didn't play hard enough tonight. Last one up front. Uh, Coach Mark Sears led the team in points, rebounds, and assists tonight. Can you talk about the load he had to carry in this game? Yeah, I mean he's been our best player all year you know he's you know it, it wasn't they, they know Auburn knows who you know scores our points they did a pretty good job on him for most of the game you know he got loose at times but you know we got to have some other guys step up we got to have you know some other guys rebound it better you know he did play almost 37 minutes so he's in there more than everybody to get more rebounds but Got to have some other guys be able to make some plays, maybe play him off the ball a little more. And, we, and, we, and honestly, we need Mark to play better defense. Like, we're not going to be able to win at the level we, we, we're used to winning at around here if, if he's not better for us on defense. But we do need some guys to step up, help him out on offense a little bit more. Thank you, Coach.